Hello! In this series of videos and this playlist we are going to talk about a different type of connections. So as our first video in the series we want to compare between HTTP 0.9, HTTP 1.1 and the so-called socket connection. And uh, so we'll see some slides just to have a common ground on those uh, on those uh, terms. When we are talking here uh, on the perspective of o OSI model, what we are basically doing in this series, our physical layer is a Wi-Fi. So we put our we flash our code on the ESP32 and uh, connect uh, between different devices via Wi-Fi wi as a physical layer. Also Wi-Fi will be used as a data link layer, as a second layer, and in this playlist we will use only IP4 uh, connection network layer in order to simplify. Uh, IP6 is completely removed from those examples. In the different videos we will uh, compare TCP, UDP and socket, socket connections and what is the difference between uh, those connections. But here we are basically focused on the differences between HTTP connection application layers. So in regarding the terms, we are sending a POST command from our PC to the ESP32 server in ESP IDF uh, 5.0 uh, environment. When, uh, when we're using HTTP connection, we are Blind, we have to use port number 80 with different IPs. In socket connection, we can choose an IP and the port, but uh, in order to compare between, in this specific video, we will use here also port 80. A, a small reminder between b before we dive in is uh, the table from the Wikipedia where we can see that HTTP 0.9 is absolute and it was introduced like uh, 30 years ago and now 1.1 is a uh, working standard and so on. Okay, uh, what our sources and uh, the original code that we used? First is the ESP so, um, expressive site where we have an explanation regarding the HTTP client and the example which is pretty lengthy. So our purpose was to simplify as much as we can in order to see the differences. You see it's a very long example and it's pretty complicated how we can understand what's going on here. Uh, looking forward, we will use a, a lightweight a TCP IP stack uh, for the TCP and UDP connections. All the code are um, saved inside Sims IoT devices on the GitHub in the repository sockets. I don't want to have a theoretical discussion regarding sockets and the web sockets and so on and that socket is a persistent connection and HTTP is a not persistent connection. We will see it in the different examples. So inside sockets, we're talking about our first 
first video first is a comparison between different HTTP connections and the socket connection and here we have a file to do it in uh, this file the includes are the same in all the video series uh, just for simplicity and uh, common ground not always every include is used in every example but they all is the same in this uh, video list so we copy it to our editor to our project and uh, let's uh, comp compile it okay this is our first uh, compilation uh, what this code have we have a Wi-Fi handler here for Wi-Fi connection we have a Wi-Fi connection function which have its SSD and password from data file which is attached my data here you have to update it to your own uh, cred credentials and we compare between three different handlers you see he here are the server initiation and the main main is working like a uh, established wi-fi connection and perform the server initiation this one and now we are looking on the handler which is used the standard http where it is it's here this handler so we are using http send uh, command how it's working you see here we have an IP of our ESP uh, 32 server and we will send a C CURL command post command to this specific IP what we expect to receive is response from the HTTP server this response okay so let's try it okay we received the HTTP response now let's change the post handler to this one we'll open this Clo uh, close this and uh, save and recompile H here the major difference in the, those protocols we don't specifically define the protocol we only sending the data which is a string without defining any header except here here we define the header you see in the HTTP 1.1 and here we just define the string so our purpose is to see how the ESP server will react to just sending the string uh, via the send command send command is used for the socket connection okay let's try it It's the same same IP as you can see. Uh, we ca here we have an error because HTTP 0.a is not allowed. As we can see in the presentation, it was depreciated. So by using this string without a header, the ESP server couldn't establish the connection via send socket command. On the contrary, here, when we use HTTP send command, the connection was established perfectly because all the environment was supplied by HTTP uh, application. In the contrary, here, with the socket application, we have to define it by, our, uh, by ourselves. Now, let's try the... 1.1 command save let's compile it and the difference here between 
those two connections is that inside the string the we have a header this is a header okay which is uh, distinguished between this is the data with uh, this abbreviation uh, and the data in this way uh, the server can define as we are talking about HTTP 1.1 protocol you see the command here and here is the same and our port we are using is port number 80 just for simplicity so let's see what's going on we have the same IP here and we will send the post command and here we received the post command successfully so the here the server is ret uh, ha has returned to us this statement this data and please note that the con connection remains persistent because it's a socket uh, on the contrary here when we use the HTTP connection it send us the response and disconnect it so to summarize here we, s we, s we have seen three different uh, post handlers one on the basis of HTTP send and two other on the basis on of socket connection send and uh, the difference was that here all the surrounding is predefined for us but when we're using sockets we have to define it by ourselves otherwise uh, uh, it could be easily understood by the server thank you